The following portion of My Carolina is sponsored by... Thanks for staying with us and welcome back to My Carolina. If you are looking to go back to school, finish a degree, or start an entirely new career, North Carolina Central University continues to prepare students for success in the global marketplace. And today we have Associate Professor Chris McGinn from NCCU to share some of the university's unique programs. Chris, thanks so much for joining us thanks today. Thanks for having me. Appreciate well, let's it. start out by talking about the actual department. Mm -hmm. What do we mean when we say environmental science, geospatial science? So, sure. So we're the Environmental Earth and Geospatial Science Department. We offer undergrad and graduate degrees in environmental and geographic science, which covers a whole plethora of, of different topics. So we have focuses on the environmental side and then the traditional geography side. Okay, so that's, I think, where a lot of people might be a little bit confused because mm -hmm. I think so many people are familiar with environmental sciences. Mm -hmm. We talk about that a lot. But the geospatial world encompasses so much more than I even imagined. Yeah, we go from traditional old geography, geology classes that we all probably have taken in, in college to the more kind of emerging technologies of GIS or geographic information systems. And then now we start our certificate in on-man aerial systems, which is using drones to collect data and aerial footage and that type of stuff. And we also have a certificate in actually geospatial intelligence. So it crosses a whole broad spectrum. It's just, it's so amazing how the different programs and new careers continue to emerge as technology just continues to advance. Mm -hmm. It must be really cool to watch that. Yeah, it is. It's so different from when I started. I'm a political geographer, so I get into mapping and, and voting patterns and that type of stuff. And now as the technology comes about, uh, students don't even realize the crossover that biology and epidemiology, COVID is a prime example of mapping out the patterns of spread of disease uh, and that stuff that we do. And then using the drone systems, we all seen the footage on TV and that's we're, we're training people to use that to collect data and assess disasters and natural disasters and all that kind of stuff. So sure. it's such a wide spectrum. It really is. And for you being in the political world, of mapping. I think a lot of people would consider that goes into a political, mm -hmm. you know, history degree or something like that. So what kind of courses are we talking? So we have courses from the traditional environmental science courses that are air quality, water quality, sustainability type courses, uh, to traditional geography, geology type courses, to the technical type courses where we have, like I said, the GIS uh, systems. We have a crime mapping course that crosses over with criminal justice. Um, and we have the, those drone certification courses where we plan to have students essentially get their uh, Part 107, which is their licensure, uh, and then go through to developing drones and using technology to analyze data. Really exciting mm -hmm. offers out there. And you know, I think anytime you start school or start a class, your end game is in mind. What kind of careers are students looking for in this? So that's what we're starting to see with, with the input from jobs is that they want these broad sets of skills, um, right? So they want to be able to analyze data, big data, which we do within the GIS system. Uh, the drone stuff has really emerged sure. so quickly um, that anybody coming out with those skill sets and even just a little bit of experience of how to fly them and then how to download the data and analyze the data. Um, so we place people in government jobs all over the place. Um, we place people in kind of private sector jobs that are doing some sort of analysis in the environmental world. Um, we've had a lot of success with placing people into these features that need that skill set that they're learning in our degree. So the opportunities are pretty much endless is what I'm hearing. It's just going to continue to grow. Mm -hmm. You offer a lot of opportunities as well as as far as it comes to learning. Mm -hmm. You can either go actually in person and you have online programs as well. Right. We have an online degree that um, we actually got started before COVID and then COVID helped us out with that uh, for both the undergrad and the graduate degree program. So we're trying to get that out there. That's starting to emerge out of our, we have 50 or so majors, about uh, a quarter of them are in the online program from all over the place that we got a couple students that are in the Chicagoland area oh, to wow. in the mountains to Charlotte. So uh, it gives them the opportunity obviously to, to get to the degree remotely, um, but we also offer all kinds of experiences to try to include them uh, in the program that's not traditionally offered in some of those Phoenix Online and some sure. of the Southern New Hampshire type programs. Sure. Mm -hmm. Any scholarship opportunities out there? Funding? So there's there's always funding uh, available, and and that's where we find the students that are good and realize what they can do. We have funding through grants, uh, through some internal uh, funding methods in the department that could offer them. So yeah, there's always money available that we seem to find. So definitely reach out to you and find more information. Absolutely. Definitely an exciting emerging career opportunity for mm -hmm. so many people out there. Where can we find more information? So basically. 
you go to the North Carolina Central website and look for our degree, like I said, environmental and geographic science. We also have social media platforms, uh, and I think it's EGSNCCU at Instagram and Facebook and all those, YouTube, um, that has all that data on there. I um, would love to sit here and talk to you about so many of the different things because as a science geek, uh, self-proclaimed, <laughs> I think it's so interesting to just see how it continues to expand. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. The preceding was sponsored by...